Okay, now that Congress has passed the credit card bill of rights, placing tougher rules on the credit card companies, what can consumers expect? Well, we know one thing. They won't have their rates jacked up on a whim. They won't have the rates on their existing balances increased. And they won't need a magnifying glass to read the fine print in their statements. Those things will be against the law. However, that doesn't mean consumers are going to have an easier time of it in the world of credit cards. For one thing, the law doesn't take effect for several months. Plenty of time for credit card companies to keep raising rates, so they'll be near the maximum when the new law takes effect. Since they won't be able to raise rates as easily and tack on fees, banks will have to make up the money elsewhere. Don't be surprised if they target those of you who pay on time and pay off your balance in full each month. Banks will need to make more money from you, so don't be surprised if they bring back the annual fee, which most credit card companies got rid of years ago. They might also start charging interest the moment you make a purchase. As of now, you don't pay interest on purchases until after the first billing period. And if your card has a rewards program, well, that might become a thing of the past. With a continuing recession, credit card companies have seen an alarming rise in defaults. That may be why they've been so aggressive in trying to get more money from the people who are still paying their bills. Don't expect that to change, not unless Congress passes another law. For ConsumerAffairs.com, I'm Mark Huffman.